Sharp right onto Ben's Engelman Road. I could use my best drink. Continue on Ben's Engelman Road for half a mile. made such a big boo-boo. I had went to go check into Pepsi and when I went to check in, I ran back. It was super cold. <laughs> I opened the wrong door and the truck was white too. I don't know why I freaking went over there. I went, oh, I just shut it. <laughs> I'm over here trying to pour myself a cup of coffee. And I saw the guy walking back and he looks at me and he goes, <laughs> I said, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I said, what a rude awakening, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry. What's an accident? It's going to be another routine of a strong cup of this um, delicious coffee, man. You guys should try it. It's called the Taste of Houston. Mmm. So delicious. It's flavored coffee. It says 100% Arabica coffee. But, dude, it has like a medium bodied with pecan, praline, and coconut flavors. So super good. Oh my God. So I'm gonna be adding, ouch, in some Watkins extract vanilla. I like H-E-B better than Walmart. I like H-E-B better than anything. They have organic, we actually deliver to H-E-B and it's 100% organic produce. And once in a while, I'll do a broker free, which is what I'm doing today for Pepsi. I'm so sorry to that guy, man. Sometimes I make very dumb mistakes like that. Like one time I posted a video about it. I was working for CFI and all their trucks look the same. <laughs> and there's quite a few of them every time you park. So I ended up parking. I went to go check in or something like that, take a piss. When I came back, I tried to open up my door and it wouldn't open. And it's cause I was at the wrong truck. <laughs> Today, since I'm gonna be um, in Houston, Texas, I'm not a, a big fan of Houston. It's always so crowded there. The dock's not very tight, so I'm happy about that. This place is very, very tight. I don't even know why they don't remodel this place. Pepsi, if you're watching this in San Antonio, you need some upgrades. And Pepsi's like a big deal, right? It's like second to Coca-Cola. Oops. <laughs> I can't wait to show you guys, man. Being a truck driver isn't easy 
it's easy if you don't care about being a truck driver. I should do my face. I should put my makeup on already, but... <sighs> I think that's where the real work is. Is staying compliant and taking your time on those tight areas. Being in the driver's seat not that's not what would be that's not what well kind of the majority of the time you're in the driver's seat driving but when you get to the shippers and receivers that's where the real work begins sometimes I mean we usually get lucky but those hard areas when you have to take your time and dock you get exhausted afterwards you feel like you just ran a marathon am I right All right, I'll see you guys when we get called in.